mapahahad lang, walang maiiwan. Sa masamang lilipad, kamtin ang pangarap. Sa hamong kinakaharap, patuloy na aangal. Edukasyon para sa lahat. Sulong, edukanilan. Ito ang Masinok School on the Air at mapagkikinggan sa Sardisyong Putog Radio. DWSP 101.5 News 7 Good day, Masinlok. Good day to our active learners from grade 10. Welcome to our on-air class. This is your on-air teacher for today, Teacher Kurt Cesar de Padua from Bamban National High School, always at the service of the Filipino learners. I will be here for you at this moment to increase your knowledge as you learn our today's lesson. Make sure that you are all on your comfortable seat and properly listening to our broadcast. At this moment, please get your self-learning module entitled, Explain How Mutation May Cause Changes in the Structure and Functions of Protein. You can also get your notebook and ball pen to take down notes about the lesson that I am going to discuss. We will use the self-learning module as a reference to our lesson written by our brilliant and hardworking science teacher, Ms. Annalisa S. Galindez. This self-learning module will take you to the journey of explaining how mutation may cause changes in the structure and functions of protein. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to explain how mutation may cause changes in the structure and function of protein. Illustrate different types of chromosomal mutation. Differentiate the kinds of chromosomal mutation and value the significant understanding about genetic mutation and how it may affect one's life. Before moving on to the discussion about explanation on how mutation may cause changes in its structures and functions of protein, let us recall our previous lesson about the structure and functions of DNA and RNA. We learned that the nucleic acid are important macromolecule in the cell because of their role in the transmission, storage, and expression of genetic information. The two major types of nucleic acid are deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and ribonucleic acid or RNA. They are both different in terms of composition, role, and location in the cell. Now, let us begin to discuss the explanation on how mutation may cause changes in the structure and function of protein. Mutation is a change in the base sequence of DNA. Mutation may affect only one gene or they may affect whole chromosomes. When the code in a gene is changed, a different message may result. Any change in the sequence of nitrogenous bases in the DNA, any mistake in the transcription of genetic information from DNA to RNA or pairing of the cotton and anticotton may cause changes in the kind sequence and number of amino acids of protein synthesized by cells. Changes in the protein structure or level of expression may lead to changes in cellular properties and behavior. As a result, the organism is affected. Most mutations are harmful. Some mutations in body cells are known to cause cancer, while mutations in sex cells can cause birth defect. A severe mutation may lead to cell death and may have no effect on the body. Sometimes, Mutation may be useful for the species. For example, a mutation in blood protein prevents viruses or parasites to thrive in host organisms. Read the two sentences. Each word contains three letters, just like codon, the sequence of three nucleotides which combines to form a unit of genetic code 
in DNA or RNA molecule. What happens when a single letter in the first sentence is changed? The dog beat the cat, the dog beat the car. Did you see that changing a single letter also changes the meaning of the sentence? A change in nitrogenous base in a protein may yield a different amino acid and a corresponding change in the protein structure and function. The altering on the set of cotton will cause mutation or alteration which in effect might cause changes in appearance of an organism. What will happen if the single base is deleted from DNA strand? You learn that an mRNA corresponds to DNA sequence translated by ribosomes into proteins. If the new sequence with the deleted base was transcribed, then every codon after the deleted base would be different. Deletion or insertion of a base may change the reading frame of the codon leading to frame shift mutation. Read again the two sentences. The dog beat the cat. The dog eat egg up. What was deleted? Would the result be the same if there would be an addition of a single base? Mutations in chromosome may occur in a variety of ways. Sometimes, part of chromosomes are broken off and lost during mitosis or meiosis. Mutation can occur in two different types of cells, reproductive cells and body somatic cells. Only mutation in sex cells pass on to offspring. Mutation affect the reproductive cells of organisms by changing the sequence of nucleotides within the gene in a sperm of an egg cell. If these cells are fertilized, then the mutated gene becomes a part of the genetic makeup of the organism. If mutation is severe, the resulting protein may be non-functional and the embryo may not develop. There are two types of mutation that can occur in gamete cells. The first one is the gene mutation. It is a permanent change in the DNA sequence that makes up the gene. The other one is chromosomal mutation. It occurs at the chromosome level, resulting in the gene deletion, duplication, or rearrangement that may occur during the cell cycle and meiosis. It may be caused by parts of chromosomes breaking off the rejoining incorrectly. Any change or mistake in the sequence of DNA, mutation arises. Mutation can lead to gene malfunction by changes in sequence that are protein coding or important for information processing. These changes in the genes can occur for a variety of reasons. Mutation may be induced by factors called mutagens. Mutagens are common in the form of toxic chemicals and harmful radiation. Sometimes, mistakes occur in DNA replication, mitosis, and meiosis. All of these alter the DNA sequence and length. Many diseases are caused by the effect of inherited genes. In most cases, there is only small difference between DNA sequences in the defective gene and a normal one. This difference is enough to cause serious and often fatal diseases. These disease-causing genes are the result of mutation. They may be passed from one generation to the next if present in gametes. shows changes in the sequence of bases in normal hemoglobin and the one affected by mutation. A recessive gene caused sickle cell anemia where most of the red blood cells stiffen and become sickle shaped in affected people. 
These disease cells carry less oxygen than normal cells. People affected by disease eventually die. Abnormalities in chromosomal structure may occur during meiosis. The normal process of crossing over, the recombination may be affected. Such chromosome break and reunite the wrong segments. If there is a loss or gain of chromosome materials, there can be significant clinical consequences. Changes that affect the structure of chromosomes can cause problems with growth, development, and functions of the body systems. These changes can affect many genes along the chromosome and disrupt the protein made from these genes. Structural changes can occur during the formation of egg or sperm cells in fetal development or in any cell after birth. Pieces of DNA can be rearranged within the chromosome or transferred between two or more chromosomes. The effect of structural changes depend on their size and location, and whether any genetic material is gained or lost. Some changes cause medical problems, while others may have no effect on a person's health. The gain or loss of chromosome materials can lead to a variety of genetic disorders. These are examples of humans with genetic disorders. Predoshock is caused by the deletion of part of the short arm of chromosome 5. Predisha is a French and the condition is so named because affected babies make high-pitched cry that sounds like a cat. Affected individuals have wide-set eyes, a small head and jaw, are moderately to severely mentally retarded and very short. syndrome is usually caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21, trisomy 21. Characteristics include decreased muscle tone, stockier build, asymmetrical skull, slanting eyes, and mild to moderate mental retardation. syndrome is the second most common trisomy after Down syndrome. It is trisomy of chromosome 18. Symptoms include mental and motor retardations and numerous congenital anomalies causing serious health problems. About 99% dies in infancy. However, those who live past their first birthday usually are quite healthy thereafter. They have characteristic hand appearance with the clenched hands and overlapping fingers. Glenifelter syndrome XXY is described when men are usually sterile and tend to have longer arms and legs and to be taller than their peers. They are often shy and quiet and have a higher incidence of speech delay. syndrome, X instead of XX or XY, is described when the female sexual characteristics are present but underdeveloped. They often have a short stature, low hairline, abnormal eye feature, and bone development, and a give it appearance to the chest.
human karyotype. Occasionally, chromosomal materials is lost or rearranged during the formations of gametes or during cell division of the early embryo. Such changes, primarily the result of non-disjunction or translocation, are so severe that the pregnancy ends in miscarriage, meaning loss of embryo or fetus before the 20th week of pregnancy or fertilization does not occur at all. It is estimated that 1 in 156 live births has some kinds of chromosomal abnormality. Some of the abnormalities associated with chromosome structure and number can be detected by a test called a karyotype. A karyotype is an image of the full set of chromosome of an individual that displays the normal number, size, and shape. Karyotype may reveal the gender of a fetus or test for certain defect through examination of cells from uterine fluid, a procedure called amniocentesis, or through samples of placental membrane as shown in Figure 7. a karyotype, chromosomes are commonly derived from actively dividing white blood cells are stained and photographed. The homologous pairs of chromosomes are identified and arranged in order by size, with exception of the sex chromosomes. This appears last as shown in figure 8. are typically done on the blood sample. Although any body cell could be used, the cell must be undergoing mitosis, preferably in metaphase, so that the chromosomes are replicated, condensed, and visible under a microscope. Genetic Engineering Understanding the gene has led to the remarkable development of methods for changing a cell's DNA. A modern biotechnology called genetic engineering produced transgenic or GM crops of organisms. Scientists have developed methods to move genes from one species to another. When DNA from two different species are joined together, it is called recombinant DNA. This process uses restriction enzymes to cleave one organism's DNA into fragments and other enzymes to splice the DNA fragments into plasmid or viral DNA. Transgenic organisms are able to manufacture genetic products foreign to the using recombinant DNA. Genetic engineering has already been applied to bacteria plants, and animals. These organisms are engineered to be of use to humans. Figure 9 shows the method for producing recombinant DNA. Today, molecular biologists are finding application for recombinant DNA technology from medical applications including gene therapy and vaccines, DNA fingerprinting used to identify persons responsible for crimes and provide evidence for identifying the dead persons. To the creations of genetically modified crops, 
that are resistant to pesticides or that make extra vitamins and minerals, to bacteria that can clean oil spills, while the applications of recombinant DNA technology are numerous, its limitations are its potential effect in our ecosystem. Now, let us proceed to the assessment. You are going to write fact if the statement is true and bluff if not. Number one, abnormalities associated with chromosome structure and number can be detected by test called gene mutation. Is a fact or a bluff? Number two, translocation involves the breakage of chromosome into two places. The resulting piece of DNA is reversed and reinserted into the chromosome. It is a fact or a blob. Deletion occurs when a chromosome breaks and some genetic materials is lost. Is it a fact or a blob? Number four, only mutation in somatic cells pass on to offspring. Is it a fact or a blood? Number five, mutation may induce by factor called mutagens. They are in the form of toxic chemical, harmful radiation, extreme temperature, and microbial infections are factors that may induce mutation. It is a fact or a blood. Okay, time to reveal the answer. Number one, it is a fact. Number two, it's a blob. The correct answer is inversion instead of dense location. Number three, it's a fact. Number four, it's a blob. Because the correct answer is reproductive cell, not asomatic cells. Number five, it is a fact. Now that you have learned that the protein is made using information from DNA, and how mutation may cause changes in structure and function of a protein, it would be worth finding out how deeper understanding of molecular genetics may affect your life. What do you think are the significant contributions of this knowledge to human society? You may share your thoughts and ideas virtually with your classmates. Your teachers will wait for the outputs you will be submitting. Our dear parents, guardian, and learning facilitator, your guidance can make a difference on how your children can accomplish the learning task. Kindly provide them assistance. Thank you for your support to possibly accomplish the task and for gradually helping them become independent learners. If you have questions, just message your science teacher. I am sure they can help you. I know you can do it, learners! Let us help each other to make this new normal education successful. Once again, this is your on-air teacher, Kurt Cesar de Padua of Bamban National High School. Thank you, listener. Have a good day.